September favorites time and as some of you may have known from my previous videos that September is my birth month so I had a great time with my birthday it was a lot of fun I got quite spoiled in the beauty department so I'm very happy about that and but I know that I suck it's been like forever since I've done a video and I apologize profusely it's just because I wasn't really inspired to film anything. I didn't really have anything that I wanted to film, so I thought I'd just leave it until September favorites and give you something that was, you know, worth watching, hopefully. Please tell me it was worth watching. Please tell me it was worth the wait. Please, 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 please. But it is September favorites time. I do have a couple of videos that I'm wanting to film, but I have to wait for a few things to arrive before I can do that, so... If that is enticing enough, stick around, subscribe, and then it'll be here hopefully in a couple weeks. So, favorites time! Benefits the professional. My brother bought me this for my birthday, and I've wanted it for a while because I've seen it all over YouTube, and everybody literally has this. And I had been using Rimmel's. Fix and Perfect and Stay Matte <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, primers, but I wanted to try this one out. I had a little sample of it that I used on the cruise and I loved it and so I thought it was worth getting the bigger um, box of it and I've been loving this. I can definitely tell when I'm using this. My foundation just sits a whole lot better. But I do still love my Rimmel one just to use for when I'm going to work. I use this one for, you know, for a bit more, you know, occasional things, you know. So this is amazing. And the box is just so pretty. That's the thing about Benefit. I love their packaging. It's all so fantastic and right up my, my alley. So, Speaking of Rimmel, the Rimmel 25R Lasting Finish Foundation has been a love of mine. I've been wearing this to work. And I just like get complimented on my makeup when I wear this and it is amazing it actually stays really really well I can wear this to work uh, in the morning and then do stuff in the afternoon when I finish and then still go out at night <clears throat> and still look you know put together I don't have to touch up or anything so I've been loving this I have this in ivory so I've been very, 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 very impressed with this. And this is the um, full coverage one. I haven't used the medium coverage one yet. So, but I've been loving this one anyway. The Naked Palette. Again, I love this thing. It is just beautiful. I, I still use this primarily for the blush. No, not the blush. The bronzer. The bronzer. Bronzer. So many bees. So, I've been using this a lot. I use this all the time. This is the blush. I use this all the time. This is the bronzer that I go for all the time. What is it with me today? I'm not awake. So, that's enough on that. This was another birthday present. This was from my mother. This is NARS Blush in Deep Throat. Let's just have a moment to be immature about the name for a moment, shall we? It's just a beautiful pink color that really warms up the skin. I love the way it just goes on so flawlessly. I don't really have to work with it a lot. And... I've just been really, really loving it. I'm not very articulate today, I'm sorry. L'Oreal's La Blush in Peach. I have been looking for a good peach toned blush for a while. And I saw this in Boots and I just had to pick it up and I have been loving it. My colleagues have like commented on it and I'm just like saying L'Oreal, it's L'Oreal. And I have it in my makeup bag and I show it to them and they're like, Normally I wouldn't pick up something that is that peachy color, but like when it's on the cheek, it's not as bold. It's just like it's so nice and subtle and warming that it's just a beautiful peach color. And I'm loving it. I have it on today actually, if you can tell. 17 eyeshadow in statuesque. I have been obsessed with this. This is what I was wearing been wearing all the time on my eyes. Is this beautiful taupe shimmery toned eyeshadow and I use it just to like highlight my eyes just that little bit when I'm at work just to like make me look a bit more awake and 
kind of and draw attention to them. Come into my eyes. Come into my eyes. You want to see my eyes? I don't know what is wrong with me today. I'm just like bonkers. So I've been loving that. It's just a beautiful color. It's beautiful. These were my birthday present from my mom as well. These are um, Florence and Fred shoes from Tesco's. I adore them. I am. If you've been reading my blog, you can. Um, see that I've been obsessed with pointed toed shoes and I saw these in Tesco's and I just had to have them just the little metal detailing here is just so eye-catching that I'm absolutely in love with it I cannot stop looking at my feet when I have these on and I've got these this little bit of a block heel that just makes them so comfortable to walk in you can walk the, you can wear them on a night out you can wear them out shopping you can they're just so versatile and you know they were just they're just so pretty i love them for music runaway go they are a local band in in belfast and i am in love with them i have seen them a couple of times in concert and they are fantastic fiona has the most beautiful voice and Dave accompanies her so beautifully and their songs are just amazing. They have a few songs out and I am I love every single one of them. This is the EP for I Would Go and it just like has two songs on here. It has the song and then like a mix of it. Um, they're just fantastic. I'm going to see them, I think, next month in Belfast and I cannot wait to see what, what new songs they have and to hear their their repertoire again and just have a good time. And yeah, run away, go. Food. You know that I love my food. And this month I've been loving the Muller Light Coconut with Lime inspired by Bali yogurt. It's... I, I loved Muller's coconut with the sprinkled dark chocolate on it. I've been I was obsessed with it. I was always buying them, and then they discontinued the line. It was limited edition, um, but I was so 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 heartbroken when they stopped doing that one. That um, it it was just you know this yogurt that I absolutely love, and I'm not like a, the biggest fan of yogurt. And so when they brought in coconut with lime I thought I'd give it a shot and I've been completely obsessed with it and like this just take a moment to appreciate the um the artwork it's just beautiful in the coconut we lie put the lime in the coconut don't tell me you did not sing that too everybody sings it honestly when you hear lime and coconut together you end up singing it and this is just delicious it has the coconut flavor, but the, the lime is not overpowering. It just makes it a little bit more... It just brings an extra taste to it. It's not overpowering. It's just that little nice little subtle kick to it. And it's just a lovely, lovely yogurt. And I'm pretty sure this is a limited edition as well. Yes, it's limited edition, so this will be going soon. And I will be disappointed all over again. Major crimes o m g that show oh my lord i watched it in four days i watched season one in one day season two over two days and season three in one and i'm obsessed with it absolutely obsessed it's airing here on monday nights on universal and i even though i've seen the episodes i just want to see them again and again and again and the cast are amazing i've watched them in the closer episodes as well and so now that it's on major crimes I'm just in love with them even more and the fact that Captain Harris from the Police Academy movies is in it with Laura Roslin from Battlestar Galactica I am geeking out I was raised on Police Academy movies I love them all I can hear quote them all and just to have Captain Harris in the same show as Laura Roslin from Battlestar Galactica I am, I'm freaking out. I love it. It is just the most insane thing ever. If anybody had told me that they would be in the same show, I would, I would say you're lying. I would say, you're nuts. Get out of here. Don't even talk to me anymore. <laughs> but they are. And it's amazing. I love it. And 
three words. Captain Sharon Raider. That is all. On to my human favorite this month, and it leads on from Major Crimes, and that is Mary McDonnell. She is... Oh my god, I can't even... There's no word to describe her besides goddess. She's just amazing, spectacular, ethereal, just... Insert every single magnificent adjective you can think of and just throw them on her like confetti. I have loved her for probably 10 years since the start of Battlestar Galactica. I have loved her. Dances with Wolves is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love it. The director's cut of it, not the theatrical version because it is not as good. The director's cut over two discs, amazing. I love it. It, it tells you everything that you want to know about the movie. It tells you everything. It makes more sense to me than the theatrical one. I watched the theatrical one and I'm just like, huh? What the hell just happened? That doesn't make sense. And Mary, oh, she's just such a goofball. She's just this little ball of amazingness. Like, her hair is insane. She looks amazing. She's so eloquent and... I don't know. I can't even... See, she makes me all tongue-tied. I can't even speak. And... I just love her. She's just made this month so much fun. Mary is amazing. Her career is incredible. I love literally everything that she does. Even if she plays a bad guy, I'll still root for her. You know? Say I love you. So that is it for my September favorites. It was a great month. I had a great month with my birthday and with everything that I've enjoyed. And it's all in the pile down here beside me now. And... I hope that September was awesome for you too. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you feel like commenting down below, please do so. I love it when you guys comment. And hopefully, hopefully if I get these um, ideas rolling around in my brain to work, then I shall hopefully see you guys again soon.